Welcome back to golf. That's right. We took a what, couple of weeks off. The season does not stop. We are at the start of October. We had a major victory that probably got swept under the rug because it was a, a lone event a couple of weeks ago. And now we are back. Sanderson Farms, Ben Raza at Jazz Raz DFS. I'm Aton at Chandra Show. Thank you for joining us on the Odd Chopper Golf Channel. That's right. Thumbs up. We need you a part of this. All right. We want you a part of this. So make sure you subscribe as well. Ben, welcome back, my friend. How'd, how'd you spend your vacation, your long vacation? Yeah, my long vacation. I spent it, you know, like most golf fans watching the U.S. kind of screw up the Ryder Cup. Uh, not our best showing in Rome. Nope. No, no doubt about it. But nah, listen, I'm happy. I know. Let's be honest. NFL college football, MLB playoffs, NBA is starting. There's a lot going on in the sports champions league. I, I don't think the Sanderson farms is at the top of everybody's list, but I, I tell you, it's on my list and I'm really Absolutely. excited to get into this. No, there's a chance to make some money here by all sure. means. And, and a couple of familiar names. If you're familiar with putting for dough, there will be two names. I'm sure brought up that are very special to both of us in each individually, of course, but mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit of a prognostication, maybe even three names as I start to look at this thing here. All right. So let's jump into, I, I don't know. Do you even want to mention the disaster that was the Ryder cup No. or Thigala? How about a win for him before the Ryder cup? Like those are the only two things you met missed by the way, if you took the last month of golf off. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Thigala is just a perfect representation of swing season. He's on everybody's short list as a guy that has shown he can win. Yep. And maybe breaks through in swing season. And he does. You know, we've seen that time and time again. Sanderson Farms is a staple of the swing season. Who, if anybody, is going to get that first PGA Tour win here? Uh, that's really, I think, one of the themes always for these early season very early season tournaments and Sanderson farm uh, is definitely one of them here, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. we've seen big, big breakout long shot winners in the past, and that's probably going to be the case here, which is great for us because we've got a bunch of names that we can throw out. All right. So we're going to go over, just look at where we can find, you know, the, the board and all we always do here, at least on bet on, DraftKings, but look, we've got this offer for you that I just want to show you on BetMGM. You put 10 bucks in, you're going to get $200 back, 21 or older, gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. We're looking at you, Kentucky, and other places that are brand new to the betting fold here. So this is our deal that we want for you, and it's super easy, and it's super simple, and, and that's all, is just to jump in. You'll see other sites, you'll see other books here, don't worry. The main one, of course is going to be on BetMGM, where, again, you can just sign up, put 10 bucks in, and you're going to get, no matter what you do, put it yeah. on any book, put it on a long shot. It doesn't matter, but you're going to get that $200 back automatically, just, just to get that out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I could use $200 in bonus. Anytime someone tells me bonus Anything. bets, they've got my interest. So uh, links in the description, all the links down there, check them out. Uh, doesn't mean you have to click everything, but at least see what's out there for your given state. So this is fun for me because Ludwig Aberg is sitting 700 points higher as the chalk on an event where, okay, he's 11 to one. That's probably not going to be a play normally. In this case, the field, I think, reflects. We saw him really take up. He had a huge Ryder Cup as well. And then you've got some other names that I think normally in watered down events, odds would make some sense. This is like super watered down where you look at the top of these names. You do not have a name that would jump out. That would be a, a carry by all means in, on this sport. But you've got younger guys. You've got other comers. You've got guys looking for breakouts. So a bunch of names we talked about. I know where you're going. I know where I'm going. But let's get the chalk out of the way maybe even jaeger bomb out of the way here i can't imagine you're playing aberg at 11 to 1 no no i'm not and listen he's it's a testament to how good he is that he's coming over from rome uh this field doesn't have that he's he's good enough to do that now is there a, a you know he's a young kid I'm, I'm not saying fatigue but just emotionally where you at who knows who knows? That could be a catalyst to, to break through. It could be a catalyst for not having your best stuff. 
I just don't love the number. Again, we're always going to say shop these numbers. It's why you want to be on BetMGM and FanDuel and, and all these books, uh, no matter how many you can get. I can't really click, even though I love Jaeger, 18 to 1. Tough. I'm not sure there's a ton of value there. We got Grio. Your boy. Let's get Eric Cole out of the way. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Well, here's the thing. I will get him out of the way, but how are you not playing Grio at 25 to 1 in this field? It doesn't make it, it would make no sense to me if you omitted Grio from your card. Well, then I guess I'll again I guess I'll put him on the card. Um like what would be the argument against we've seen him play well, we've seen him in especially in fields like this. I don't know because he's already won. Do you want to just oh the, he can't win in two types of events? Like what what would be the argument against you going with your guy here? No, I mean the the, the nice thing about Grio, uh, he's played this event basically every you know he plays year after year, crushes it tee to green, hasn't really figured out the putter. But the only argument with with really any of these guys is that their numbers are crushed. You know when you're betting Eric Cole. And Grio in a typical event, you're talking about guys, you know, 75 to one, sure. under to one. And, and now you have them amongst the leaders. Now their win equity is much higher. So, yeah, I mean, I think we could click in Grio and and I'll click in Bo Hostler, who is he is just the guy that I've selected as yeah. one of the swing season candidates for that elusive win. Uh, I, Bo Hostler has been so close so many times. Again, I'm going to try to get the best number possible, but. I just like the spot for him. He played at Fortinet and he was fine. I'm gonna call for him to get one uh, sooner rather than later. He's having a hell, really amazing season, and it was it, close, but yeah, he never he never does it. But he's he's been playing probably his best golf, and there's something to that, right? Like, oh, uh, this guy, like, if you have a golfer out here who is struggling in certain areas. Scheffler is probably the easiest example, right? Where he's just, and he, the guy's just an amazing specimen, but he's been struggling tremendously, significantly with the putter. And he's just thinking if he could just get this thing, if he just, I feel with Hostler, and granted, I'm using two different golfers and skill sets clearly, but in this particular scene, when you mentioned Hostler, I think there's a lot of value there because it's not like he's struggling. Certain, he's just playing tougher fields, tougher events. This seems like one here. I, I absolutely would would follow that for sure uh lucas i don't know i'm a little i'm a little caught in this mid-range here as i start to look at a couple of guys that we've brought up in the past you know it, yeah if you look at a guy who has just played really good golf there we go right I mean, this at 45 to one in this field, doesn't this seem a little off? 17th last time out during the swing season, made nine of 10 cuts. Again, we're going, we're stretching back, you know, deep into the like July. I'm talking about, right. you, you know, how that goes. But Doug Gim, the putter has let him down for a while. Uh, but if you could get that back, it's been all over the place. I'll just take a a snapshot of his last couple of events. He went to Wyndham in August and he lost nine strokes putting. Nine strokes putting. But then his first swing season event, he gained three strokes putting. So we know it's there. Can he put it together? So the, the thing I like about Gim, to me, his number is not drastically reduced to the same level as a, not everybody else, but most other players. 45 yep. to one. Okay, I can work with that in this field. That's a great point. And how he's been playing doesn't necessarily reflect that. I mean, I'd argue he's closer to Hostler's number the way in which and you mentioned that there's a gap as far as playing and all that. But looking the nine to ten and, and what he's been doing, the momentum and just how well he's played this year. I yeah, forty five to one seems like a shot. I'm gonna keep going. Do you see anybody else before above Gim? Can't say that I do. Again, uh, we're mostly you know sticking with outrights here and maybe we'll throw in a top 10 or whatnot yeah that's fine I, let, yeah let's, just, let's it, breeze through a couple more outrights and we can get back okay it'll keep i, I don't as much as i want to click luke list i'm not gonna do that no i, I my days of luke list are done hollywood like Darren, Hogan? Like, yeah luke list is like darren waller like i refuse to keep believing yeah. that something is going to change yeah i had that experience I, last night in showdown uh <laughs> i'm it, glad it, it i'm not work. alone 
No. Jesus. Good. Uh, okay. Um, I, you know, Hoagie's interesting. I don't think I'll play him outright. He was Hardy. close to that top 50. Um, you know, BMW was fine. I, I don't know. Probably not. 55 to 1 seems just like I'm forcing an argument that we just had with Gim, and, and I don't necessarily know if I believe it like I do with Gim. So I'll. I, I want to give a shout out to Nick Hardy real quick. He was fifth here last year. Um, another guy that I believe has the skill set. Now, for him to win on tour would be quite a leap. He really hasn't been close. Uh, his best finish on tour was actually at Sanderson Farms last year. He's got a couple of top tens. Uh, I do think that his game is is the type of game that can translate here, not just because of his finish last year. And 65 isn't the worst, but as you mentioned, you don't want to bet guys just to bet guys. You know, you want to see value on the board and you want to, before you, where are you going? Well, I, we clearly missed Norlander. No, there's no just, we in that sentence. No, we didn't. I, I could not believe that he is this far down. Why? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put 10 bucks on it because he's he's a guy who knows and plays this course. That's it. Like that's the only thing is that if you want to target a long shot guy, target somebody who at least has familiarity and a sense, semblance of success on this court course, part of me. I get it. Like you look at what he's done. He's missed more cuts over his last four events than made. He even when he makes cuts, this is not a guy who plays good golf overall consistently. Zurich is probably the last time um, Corrales. I mean, look, we're talking about Puerto Rico Open, right? Like we're talking about some early spots here in the season. But I'm just looking at golfer course fit fit. Long shot. There's nothing. I don't want to look at driver. I don't want to look at putter. I don't want to overthink this. I just want to think, all right, is there a guy familiar with this course that's a super long shot that I could work in maybe a top 30 or 40 play? Well, if you're going to give, if you're going to go with your super long shot, then I'm going to give you one just Let's because. Do Let's do uh, it. And that would be Marty Du. Uh, my man, Z Chang Du. He was also at 200. He was right next to him, like five above Norlander right above Ryan Moore. There he is. And and chat, I want you in the comments to tell, we're going to do a little friendly head to head here. That's if you cool. had to back one of these two creative players, would you back my guy who wears the bucket hat in Marty do? Or would you back your boy, Mr. Norlander? Let us know if you had to go to a 200 to one shot, which one of these two would it be? Because to me, I'll it's Marty do. I'll tell you what, we'll put 10 bucks on each. All right. Okay. That's a deal. Uh, I'll do that. No, that's that's. A we're problem. donating. We're donating both of them to the human fund here. Correct. Um, so there's ten bucks. There's ten bucks. I'll tell you that. I'll. I'll do, I can't speak for Ben, but if Norlander hits on a ten dollar ticket, he's not going to. So and and so and wh whoever says yes on my side, if Norlander does hit below and you say yes below, I will split this ticket with one lucky winner. <laughs> All right. That's Fair a enough. grand right there to want. All you need to do is say Norlander, Norlander. Now I can't speak for Ben and his guy, Marty do, but. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, Marty, Marty do is not going to win either, but he's going to, he's going to play better than Norlander. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, and that's just what we're dealing with. Again, I think you want to be cautious. Ooh, but. go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, I think there I might be some I've... value in some matchups. My friend. Yeah, there could be. I mean, let's take a look before we bounce on out of here. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go no, Rio uh, over my guy. Although I probably would bet that, to be honest. Yeah, I'll have to take a look. You know, again, I think I'm not going to, but we're I, doing I, this a little, a little early in the week. We like to give you that first look. I want to see the weather. I want to see where you, the tee times, things like that. They really are more impactful, I think, for matchups. Right. Uh, I wouldn't mind fade. Like, I'd have to take a deep dive into Sam Stevens and just how bad he is. But I wouldn't mind fading Luke List just to fade Luke List. Yeah, I mean, Luke List, you know, uh, we know he's a – listen, we've seen him do it on tour. But when Luke List doesn't have it, oh, he puts brutal. himself out of the tournament. So if you're going to get a little plus money, I, I would go to Gim as well. But yep. I really respect Alex Smalley. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I think the line reflects that too, right? Like yeah. this is probably in real life more of an even money shot for Gim. Yeah, I mean, I, I view that really as a correct line. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure either side 
is I wouldn't profitable. play it for value, and, and I'm speaking against a, a lot of your mantra. I get it. I, I just think this is the better play between the two. But I recognize the books are are saying, "Hey, we don't yeah. believe it that way." Small is a player. I, I'm he is, I, and I'm not. I'm not doubting. I'm just bigger on Gim. But you're right. I'm not. I just want to clarify that. I'm not. I'm not uh, bringing him down. That's fair. And again, I, you know, with swing season, my formula. Everyone has a different philosophy. My formula. Get a couple of golfers that I say, okay, for the next month, I'm going to buy on them. I'm going to put some money on their outrights. I'm going to look to them in the top 20 market. I'm going to look to them in the top 40 market. And I'm just going to see what happens. Who are those golfers for me? Certainly Bo Hostler this week is one of those guys. Nick Hardy, particularly in like the top 20 and 40 market is one of those guys. Uh, I, I think those are the type of names you're going to see on my card for quite a while until we get to Sony and we get to January. Just looking at some even money guys. I mean, Hardy's minus Sick. 110. That's fine. Every time with that guy. Yeah. That's, that's a sweat every single time on this guy. What's he grinds though. I like that guy a lot. EVR <laughs> plus 130. There's a donation. Yeah. Okay. Plus 190 for Marty. 200. Can I get two to one for a Norlander? It's probably like four to one. Did we miss him? He might not even be listed because it's just predatory. He probably missed him. He can't be down here with these guys. Ricky Barnes. Is Ricky Barnes still playing golf? I didn't know that. On a professional level? All right, we got to get out of here. Oh, there he is. 170. Uh, let's just run it back real quick here for yeah. you. Eric Cole, Grio, Hostler, Gim, Hardy, Norlander. Some of these long shots, Marty do, right? These are just names that we've picked up that can be favorites for us to win. We also have Gim in a matchup over Smalley, uh, Hoagie in a, tr a three ball. I threw this in there with Higo and Hubbard, and then another one with Hostler beating out Grio and Hodges. And then the top 40s, Hardy, Sig, Do, Norlander. That's not a terrible 14 plays between the two of us. That's a lot for golf, but that's not that's not a terrible card, man. No, again, uh, I think it's that same philosophy I just talked about. Identify a couple of players, mix and match them in different verticals from extreme upside to an outright market, conservative maybe to a matchup uh, if the if the price is right. So I'm excited to get into it. I know, again, it's early season golf, it's not the marquee events, but you know what? Come January, if you hit an outright or two, you're going to be really happy that you took the time to bet Sanderson Farms, to bet uh, Shriners and those type of tournaments. And speaking of it, as we leave you with this thought right here, you bet a dollar, you get 365 back in bonus bets. Again, 21 or older gambling problem called 1 800 Gambler. We've given you Bet MGM. Now we're giving you Bet 365. You take Norlander, you take Marty Dew, and you put a buck <laughs> on either one of those guys and it hits great. Either way, win or lose, you're still getting $365. You will not find a better deal. Than this, only a couple of states, Ben. Right, but still, we want you to take advantage of it if you're in those states. Again, just check out those links. It has all the information you need. If you want to take advantage of both, and you can, amazing. If you pick one, that's smart too. We just want to make sure you guys are able to get those bonus bets. Uh, everyone benefiting, and let's see if we can have a winner here. It's going to be fun. I'm excited to see this tournament. That Jazz Rest DFS at Shander Show again. Thumbs up. Comments below. Subscribe. We gave you two books. And a ton of tickets. All right. For Ben, I'm Aton. We'll see you next week.